Donna lived alone in a cozy little house on the village outskirts, nestled near the edge of a dense forest. Her granddaughter, Melissa, often visited on weekends to help with chores and enjoy her grandmother's company. Though Donna was elderly with poor eyesight, she maintained a cheerful, optimistic outlook that Melissa adored. One morning, as Melissa made her way down to the kitchen, she found her grandmother preparing breakfast. They settled at the table, savoring warm pancakes and chatting about everything under the sun. Just as they were laughing over a shared memory, Melissa noticed a small movement in the garden through the kitchen window. At first, she assumed it was the neighbor's kitten, who liked to wander into their yard from time to time. Excited to greet the little visitor, she stepped outside, but as she got closer, she froze in astonishment. Awkwardly wobbling across the lawn was not a kitten but a lynx cub, its big amber eyes gazing curiously at her. Melissa could hardly believe her eyes and cautiously approached the cub, who didn't seem afraid but rather intrigued by her presence. When she told her grandmother about the unexpected visitor, Donna was equally stunned. She explained that she had actually purchased a kitten just a few days ago as a surprise for Melissa a little furry friend to keep her granddaughter company. She had bought it from a local hunter, Philip, who assured her it was a special kitten. Realizing now that her poor eyesight had been taken advantage of, Donna was dismayed. Philip had, in fact, sold her a lynx cub instead of a domestic kitten. Melissa felt a mix of outrage and surprise at Philip's deception. But as she looked back at the curious little cub, her anger softened. There was something enchanting about him, with his oversized paws and soft, fluffy fur. She felt drawn to this unusual pet and couldn't resist the idea of keeping him. After some convincing, Melissa persuaded her grandmother to give the cub a chance, and they decided to name him Rocky. Over the following days, Donna and Melissa adapted to having Rocky as part of their lives. The cub brought a playful energy to the household, exploring every corner of the garden and occasionally sneaking inside to nap by the fireplace. He was a bundle of mischief, but his clumsy antics and warm affection quickly won them over. Grandma Donna, despite her initial hesitation, found herself charmed by Rocky's gentle curiosity and watched with joy as he bonded with Melissa. Melissa was thrilled with her new friend, though she realized that caring for Rocky would be more challenging than looking after an ordinary kitten. She began researching how to care for a lynx, learning about his diet, behavior, and special needs. She was determined to give him the best care possible and make their home a safe haven for him. Rocky became something of a village curiosity and soon neighbors started stopping by to see the kitten that had turned out to be a wild lynx. Though some were cautious, Rocky's playful and gentle demeanor reassured everyone that he was a special addition to Donna's home. Even Philip, the hunter, eventually stopped by, half amused and half guilty, to see his mistaken sale. He apologized to Donna, insisting he hadn't intended to deceive her but the apology only brought more laughter from the two women, who had grown quite fond of their little lynx. As the weeks passed, Rocky's wild instincts remained, but he showed deep loyalty to Melissa and Donna. He often followed Melissa around the garden, pouncing at fallen leaves and rolling around in the grass. Donna, who had feared he might be too much to handle, now looked forward to his gentle head bumps and soft purring. The connection between them grew stronger with each passing day, filling the small house on the edge of the forest with a warmth and liveliness it hadn't had in years. In time, Melissa and Donna felt grateful for Rocky's unexpected arrival. The lynx cub became a symbol of resilience and adaptability, fitting perfectly into their lives despite the initial shock. And so, in their little house by the woods, they formed an unlikely family two humans and one lynx, sharing moments of joy, laughter, and a unique love that no one in the village would soon forget. Over the next few days, Melissa and Donna focused all their attention on caring for the lynx cub. They fed him, played with him, and gently familiarized him with his new surroundings. To their delight, the cub was surprisingly affectionate and playful, quickly bonding with his new family. 
particularly with kind-hearted Donna. When Janice, Melissa's mother, heard about the new addition to Donna's household, she was horrified. Living in the city, Janice couldn't understand why her mother had taken in a wild animal. She tried to convince Donna that keeping a lynx at home was far from safe or practical, urging her to consider sending Rocky to a wildlife sanctuary or rehabilitation center. But Donna was firm. She had grown attached to the cub and believed they could give him a good home. Eventually, Janice relented and even agreed to let Melissa help with raising and caring for the unusual pet. Melissa was overjoyed. She loved spending time with her grandmother, and Rocky's arrival only made their time together more special. As the weeks passed, Rocky grew rapidly. His once clumsy steps transformed into graceful movements, his soft fur thickened, and his small paws grew large with impressive claws. Despite his growth, Rocky remained gentle and obedient, a constant source of joy in their lives. Donna and Melissa, even set up a special room for Rocky and fenced off part of the garden to give him a safe space to roam. They limited his interaction with strangers, mindful that, despite his affectionate nature, he was still a wild animal. A year flew by and Rocky blossomed into a striking young lynx. His muscular body was covered in thick, reddish-gray fur adorned with black spots, and his amber eyes shone with intelligence and attentiveness. Though he was now large and powerful, Rocky's gentle nature with Donna and Melissa hadn't changed. Donna often thought about Rocky's future and knew, deep down, that one day he might have to return to the wild. But every time she saw Melissa's radiant face as she played with Rocky, Donna set those thoughts aside. Life with Rocky was filled with funny and heartwarming moments. Once, Rocky accidentally knocked over a pot of flour covering himself in a fine white dust. Startled, he darted into the garden, leaving powdery paw prints across the yard. Donna and Melissa laughed as they carefully washed the disgruntled, flower-covered links in the bathtub. On another occasion, Rocky proudly presented Donna with a mouse he'd caught, offering it as if it were a gift. Touched by his gesture, Donna couldn't bring herself to scold him, despite the mess he left on her favorite bedspread. Rocky developed a special fondness for the garden hose. For hours, he would chase the stream of water, pouncing and swatting at it as if it were prey. Melissa used this playful activity to keep Rocky active, ensuring he stayed fit despite his comfortable home life. Whenever it rained, Rocky would settle on the windowsill, mesmerized by the raindrops trickling down the glass. His amber eyes followed each drop, and his tail flipped with fascination, completely absorbed in this simple natural wonder. Though Rocky had grown into a wild and powerful animal, his bond with Donna and Melissa remained unbreakable. His playful nature, loyalty, and quiet presence brought an unexpected light to their home, filling each day with warmth. Neighbors, once skeptical of having a lynx nearby, were charmed by the stories Melissa shared. Though they kept their distance, respecting the family's choice to keep Rocky's life as peaceful and natural as possible. With each passing season, Donna felt more conflicted about Rocky's future. She knew that one day, Rocky might need to return to the wild where he belonged. But it was hard to imagine letting him go when he had become such a beloved part of their lives. For now, she focused on the joy he brought to Melissa and the quiet companionship he offered her. It seemed that, in their little corner of the world, the unusual family they had formed was exactly what they all needed. As Rocky continued to grow, so did the memories they shared, moments of laughter, warmth, and love that bound them together. And though Donna knew that life could change at any time, she cherished each day, grateful for the unexpected gift that Rocky had become. In her heart, she knew that no matter what happened in the future, Rocky had found his place in their family, and his spirit would always be a part of their lives. One day, Donna accidentally locked herself in the pantry. Her calls for help were faint, but Rocky heard her and began to meow loudly, alerting Melissa. Thanks to him, Melissa quickly found and freed her grandmother. Winter brought new joys for Rocky, who was thrilled by the snow. He'd leap into drifts, bury himself, 
and pop out like a fluffy snow creature, much to Donna and Melissa's delight. They couldn't get enough of watching their majestic snow monster frolic, filling the air with laughter. Rocky's cleverness showed in other ways too. He quickly learned how to open doors, forcing them to lock the fridge after Melissa caught him one day devouring an entire chicken he'd managed to pull from the freezer. With each day, Rocky's bond with Donna and Melissa grew. He seemed to sense their moods, adapting his behavior with uncanny sensitivity. When Donna was sick, Rocky wouldn't leave her side, curling up beside her and purring, warming her with his presence. Despite his impressive size, Rocky remained gentle, taking treats delicately from their hands and never using his claws during play. His favorite pastime was lying across Donna's lap as she read, basking in the calm of her company. The neighbors gradually adjusted to the unusual pet, some even came by specifically to see Rocky, especially children who loved watching the lynx pounce on butterflies or roll a large ball around the garden. One evening, a fox, lured by the scent of the chicken coop, wandered into the yard. Rocky immediately chased the intruder away, protecting his home and the family's livestock. This act of loyalty won the admiration of even the more hesitant neighbors, who saw Rocky in a new light. Determined to give Rocky the best life, Melissa began studying Link's behavior in the wild. She learned how to meet his physical needs with plenty of exercise and a varied diet that resembled what he'd eat in nature. Donna, always doting, even knitted a warm vest for Rocky to wear on the coldest winter days. Though he didn't need it, Donna insisted he wear it, and the sight of a powerful Lynx in a cozy, handmade vest brought a smile to everyone who saw him. Rocky showed remarkable sensitivity to his family's emotions. Once, when Melissa was upset over problems at school, Rocky brought her his favorite toy, dropping it in her lap as if offering comfort. With the arrival of spring, Rocky became especially active, spending hours watching birds that visited the garden. He'd quietly sneak up on them, fascinated, yet never attempted to catch them. It was as though he understood that this was his home, a place of peace rather than hunting grounds. One warm summer evening, Melissa sat on the porch, watching Rocky chase butterflies. Suddenly, loud music and screeching brakes interrupted the peaceful scene. A car pulled up, and a group of rowdy boys jumped out. Recognizing them as local troublemakers, Melissa tensed, hoping they would leave, but they spotted her and began harassing her. The boys tried to pull her toward their car, and though she resisted, they were much stronger. Fear gripped Melissa as she struggled against them. She could smell alcohol on their breath, intensifying her panic. Out of the corner of her eye, she saw movement in the bushes and felt a flash of hope, only to fear it might be more of their friends. Just as despair began to sink in, a loud, bone-chilling roar split the air. Rocky leaped from the bushes, his fur bristling and his eyes blazing with fury. He moved with a powerful grace, his muscles rippling under his coat as his claws dug into the ground. The roar alone was enough to make the largest of the boys recoil. Rocky's eyes locked onto the troublemakers, his growls rumbling through the air. Melissa felt the hands around her wrists loosen, and she seized the chance to pull free, stumbling to the ground. Rocky was immediately beside her, standing protectively over her, his stance warning anyone against coming closer. The boys, now visibly terrified, backed away, tripping over each other in their haste to reach the car. Within seconds, they sped off, leaving a cloud of dust in their wake. As the car disappeared, Melissa found herself trembling. She hugged Rocky, pressing her face into his soft fur, feeling his warmth and steady presence calm her racing heart. She realized just how close she had come to real danger and that Rocky had saved her from it. With tears in her eyes, she clung to him, whispering her gratitude. This incident strengthened the bond between Rocky and his family even more. It was clear now that he was more than just a pet. He was a loyal guardian, a protector willing to face any threat to keep his family safe. From that day on, Donna and Melissa saw Rocky as a true member of their family.
not only for his companionship but also for his courage and love. Life gradually returned to normal. Donna, Melissa, and Rocky continued sharing everyday joys, comforting one another through life's challenges, and filling each day with laughter and love. Their story became known throughout the village, an inspiring example of the powerful bond between humans and animals. Their unusual family was proof that kindness, love, and respect could forge unbreakable ties, even between a grandmother, a young girl, and a magnificent lynx named Rocky.